Justification comes through the blood. It is what made God to look at Kole, and God sees Kole as a man who has never sinned before. Justification has taken place. Righteousness is given to him. Righteousness in this time means right standing. It's not about attitude, it's about standing. Placement. God places you at a level where when he looks at you, he does not see anything wrong with you. He says, I find no fault with this man. Why? He's covered by the blood. He is justified. Justified means even in legal time, just as if you never did it. But people can still say that, well, they pardoned him, but it was one that stole the car, but they pardoned him. Justification means that nobody sees him as somebody that won't stole the car anymore. As far as anybody's concerned, he never did anything wrong in his life. Justification. That's the gift of righteousness. Isn't that a blessing? Hallelujah. And that's the breastplate we are wearing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is when you know, I say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it's as if Jesus himself is praying. Who is that condemned? The man didn't do it. He said, no, it is Christ who died. Because the case of a Christian now, everything about you is about Christ. Hallelujah. When they say, is it righteous? Christ answers. This is the function which you put your hand in your pocket and you say in the name of Jesus. Those who know this when they say, whether there's a sweet in their mouth, everyone will obey them. The things of the spirit, they are not to do with emotion. They are legal terms. When the court gives a land to a person, it does not matter how he's dressed. When they say he's the owner, he's the owner. Whether he wears jeans or t-shirts. Legal things don't deal with how you feel. They deal with fat on ground. Once the judgment is given, it is given. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Emotion does not come in. That's why also, you cannot say because you are feeling dirty and tired. When you pray today, God will not answer. The equation has been taken away from you. You are not the factor anymore. It's in Jesus Christ. So, when you wake up in the morning, whether you are weak or if you need to command, the command and they will obey you. That's what to do with you. It's a legal thing that has been signed by the blood of Jesus and it is irreversible. As a matter of fact, you should be afraid when you want to pray. When you think you have done everything we're doing, you pray very well in the morning. That's why you come out. That means your confidence is what you have done. But we believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. You might have just finished eating a bowl of Amala. And if someone is dying, besides pray for the person. Pray with audacity. You are not using your name. You are using the name of you. You are the one getting tired. The name is not tired. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> 